I have Ashish Jain from LV, LV Prasad Eye Institute. Ashish has an industrial design degree from MIT Institute of Design, Pune. He is going to take us through a project that they have uh, developed. It is a simple and cost-effective product to screen refractive error of the eye. This uh, is designed to help masses to self-administer self the refractive error. So I would like to welcome Mr. Ashish Jain onto the stage to share his project with us. Hi all, I am Ashish Jain. Uh, this is our team from last summer. Uh, we are a group of in, uh, engineers, designers, makers, destroyers. Uh, we work at Shrujana Center for Innovation uh, at LV Prasad I Institute. I, LV Prasad Eye Institute is one of the uh, world leading eye healthcare facility and um, at Shrujana Center for Innovation we are developing innovative products in eye healthcare. So uh, you must have heard from uh, Kaladar Bapuji, right, uh, that um, there was one device which actually won $50,000 uh, last uh, week at London. It was for clearly vision price and we stood second for the same. For a very simple device which is cost effective, user friendly, uh, easy to uh, assemble uh, by any person in the world and to check their own refractive error. So uh, the device is the folding for after. And um, so folding for after, I will tell you what um, for after means so uh, in the later slides uh, let me start with the facts um, so 2.3 billion people are actually uh, facing poor vision due to uncorrected refractive error and um, 153 million are actually going blind because of the same problem and uh, just imagine how many of you guys actually have uh, glasses yeah so you must have actually seen uh, the heavy devices which they actually use to actually check your refractive error. Now, this kind of device is not accessible to remote places and that is, a, that is one of the biggest problem why people are not able to check their refractive error. So, what, is, what are the consequences of not knowing your refractive error is that eventually you will go blind, right? And which can actually cause not to have a good education uh, opportunity, you will lose on jobs uh, and then because of that you will actually not live happy because you can't just do anything. Uh, in the quotes, <laughs> this is 2013 hackathon uh, at, L uh, at LV Prasad, uh, it actually hap uh, happened in uh, BITS, uh, Hyderabad uh, and he is Virendra Nath, he is an optometrist. Uh, he has been serving patients from last eight years and um, uh, he goes to the villages and uh, uh, does the screening programs. This is the four after I'm actually talking about. You go to uh, the optometrist and when they check the refractive error, they use this heavy device. The problem with this heavy device is that it's really costly. It's massive, so you can't actually carry it to remote places. Uh, it needs expertise to actually use it and uh, talking about experts, we have really less experts. So how do we know, how, how do we actually make sure that every person is checking their own refractive error? Well, Virendranath carries this heavy, uh, heavy box everywhere to actually do the screenings and um, well he was thinking he th is that uh, there, there should be something which is really simple uh, which can actually check the refractive error. One day he was just in his lab, uh, he was just doing his experiment and he saw there were two lenses uh, which were kept. He looked through that and uh, he moved one of those and he figured that uh, he could actually see a focused image after that, after moving it to some distance. And he was just wondering what if he can use the same phenomena, same mechanism to actually create a very simple device which can have all these range of uh, lenses into one small device. Well, this couldn't have happened without a team. He needed a team. He needed 
so he, the, there is Viru, he's an optometrist and a vision scientist. Uh, so when Viru met Dhruv, he's a technical consultant to our place, uh, he's also an engineer. Uh, so when he met Dhruv, uh, he discussed this problem with him and Dhruv was like, yes, let's create some, kind, uh, some device which actually works. But there, so after that, um, we made this kind of device, which is a plastic, pro uh, which is a plastic prototype, 3D printed, which has two lenses in that. And as you move the lenses, it actually gives you the range of uh, powers for the same. Well, um, Drew didn't stop there. He wanted uh, to make it, so he was thinking, what if it, uh, so the idea about this device is to reach to the mass, right? And it cannot happen without uh, making sure that it actually uh, is usable by, a, by the people. He wanted uh, that it is more cost effective. What if a person can build it themselves and administer their own refractive error? Then this was the first prototype which we, uh, which we came up with which is a really portable concept. Uh, it's a flat sheet of uh, um, plastic, which you can actually crease and fold, place the two lenses, and it will actually work as the same thing. Well, that was not decomposable, and we were thinking, what if it is eco-friendly? And um, we came up with this, which is a cardboard device doing the same thing. Well, it was not robust. And uh, it, it was not easy to assemble as well. And we were thinking that uh, if we need something which is easily usable, we need to actually work, on, work more on the design part of it. This was another iteration of that where we actually reduced the costs and uh, we, uh, it became really simple to actually cut it by the user and uh, fold it to make the assembly better. Well, this assembly didn't have uh, the aspect of simplicity to assemble it uh, by the user. And uh, then we came up with this design, which is this one. Uh, a very simple device where uh, it's a telescopic thing, um, which has two lenses, uh, very origami based and um, it has two sections uh, with a um, eye cup. The uh, working is really, really simple. <coughs> Sorry. So working is really, really simple. What you have to do is, so what you have to do is, you have to look at a target at a distance through the lens and you have to move the other lens uh, which is in the front and slowly retract as you see the first clear image. As soon as you see the first clear image, you have to stop and the, uh, and the device will show the reading which is equivalent to your power. Well, this idea was really simple and it had to be a really, really user-friendly device. So what we did that is, uh, Whatever joineries were there, we actually built it into a sticking thing, so it's easy for the user to actually remove the uh, uh, remove the tape and then just put it together. Uh, it doesn't take more than five minutes to assemble it, and it's a really really cost effective device. Where uh, the devices which are available in the market uh, are uh, more than two fifty dollars. Well, this device is less than 20 rupees. Thank you. So it's, uh, it's simple. Uh, there are two paper cutouts, and uh, you just have to fold them, place the lenses. Uh, you have a user manual to look at it. You can actually uh, follow the instructions and do that. Um, and uh, yeah, like self-administered. This is one of the pictures uh, from our village trials when uh, it was difficult uh, for us to make this guy use this. And uh, this, this actually led us to understand that uh, our, whatever we design 
cannot actually improvise until unless we actually reach to the mass, validate it, show them, uh, make them use it, get the feedback, and keep on improvising until it actually becomes perfect. Well, I don't think any product can be a perfect. It, as soon as it reaches the mass, it keeps on improvising, and that's why we have range of products. Thank you. Since you have shown the design, uh, all these things are square in shape. If the cross section you see, it's a square. So yeah. why we haven't uh, seen for a circular cross section for it? Because it, the telescopic mechanism will be easier, right? Yeah. Any that's reasons? A nice, that's a nice question. So uh, you see, you saw the first prototype, right? That was circular. So I'll show you that. So yeah. Yeah. This was the first prototype. Yes. 3D printed. It was circular. Okay. And uh, we actually, th and it was not telescopic though, but it has the same kind of mechanism where the lens is getting shifted. Well, you will see most of telescopes are cylindrical because uh, the lenses are circular, right? Uh, there were few designs where, um, like, at in old age, uh, there were few telescopes which were square in shape, but uh, because they were just square in shape because they were made out of sheet metal. Well, we took the same approach. We have a paper where we have to actually fold it like a sheet metal, right? So it, it, because of the intrinsic property of the paper, we had to Check. choose this kind of uh, approach where it is square in shape. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> So uh, we are still in the validation stage, and uh, we are still developing this. But the idea is that we'll soon be deploying the device into our own network to keep on uh, to start validation and improvise on the design. Thank you so much. Probably Thank you. just need to get on to the next session. Thank you so much. Please give them a big round of applause. Good work.